Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of Firewood Doctor. Today, I'm really ticked off, especially at the idiot that plows the snow here. So, let me show you what I'm going on about. Once again, shoved snow into there. That's not so bad, that's just rounds. But then, this pile of snow, you know, is like over knee high and frozen in. So I can't dig that out. I can't pull the splitter out now, so I could split that. This is all frozen, so I can't get to this stuff. You know, I could probably get this cut, but I can't get my splitter out because all the snow that he pushed up is frozen. That really freaking pisses me off because he has a tractor, I don't. So, I'm... I'm Oh, uh, if I could, I'd kick his butt right now. I am fighting mad. So we'll see what I can get done here. ...about getting this snow around here cleared up so I can at least get it up to the pine where I could start splitting that. Then I'll have to bring the rounds down this way, which sucks. Because that snow bank is frozen solid. Idiot. I need my own tractor. It would have been fine if you would have just left that. I would have gotten the snowblower and just blown it out of the way, you know? Sucks got to use this type of shovel. Can't run the snowblower in here because of little hidden chunks of wood. That's a pushed up pile of snow. Yeah, I'm already trying to shovel chunks of wood here. They're frozen down. This is a job for a tractor and the loader, not the shovel. Best I can do is shovel my way to these logs so I can with a saw get them cut up about the best I can do because of this idiot. So I'm going to be looking for a new wood yard where I don't have to put up with this stuff. Yeah, this is the first snow pile. Frozen hunk of ice. I don't know what he is thinking.
so I guess I'm not going to be able to do any splitting this winter unless all the snow melts or if someone comes in with a tractor and can move some of this uh, snow and ice crap out of the way I had a good shot straight shot there where I could have just backed in with the truck and pulled the splitter out now I have to get a try try to get the splitter moved up into there but what I'm thinking I'm gonna do now is just turn the splitter around and uh, cut off of that pile and just split and keep moving the splitter that way. It's about all I can do until I can get my own tractor in here, which won't happen in this wood yard. to get this pine done I'm not able to do that because I can't get my splitter over that but I can get the splitter up here to do the pine once I get these rounds moved and can shove the splitter up into here then I can do the pine but I'm gonna have to get this cut these few logs cut up then I can do the pine then I can get to cutting that I was hoping to have this pine done before it snowed but that didn't happen I probably would have if I would have uh, wouldn't have uh, run my chains into the ground and dulled them up or hit dirt or whatever, or I would have sharpened them right away and came back that weekend to finish it. But I think that was on a Sunday when I last cut on these. So the best I could do is shovel the snow up into here and and have someone come by with a tractor to help shovel this out when I'm here. Maybe I can get a hold of someone tomorrow that has a tractor on here to help dig this out. So with the help of a kind gentleman that stopped in to let the landlord's dog out, I had the idea of a put, because the splitter was sitting down in the holes with the wheels, I wedged this wheel in because I had that one free, and then used that as a wheel chock to pivot the whole splitter this way, popped it out of the other hole because I can only get it out of one hole at a time. And then rocked it like a car in the snow. Zoom, it went. And when that 1,400-pound th thing moves, you better be out of the way. So now, I can cut that pine up. And then, don't, uh, maybe I'll start splitting on it. But I'm basically, I passed the pallet. 
I got in just enough snow cleared on this side where I can get the splitter past it. Now I'll just have to finagle it when I get to the ice hump over here. Finagle it right there. And which means I'll just have to turn the splitter so it pushes the splits off and shoves it that direction. So I can at least get some things done now. So get the uh, saw gassed up and try cutting that pine up without hitting the chain, hitting the saw on one of those uh, pallets and dulling it up. I think that's what I did the last time.
that's it folks yeah I got wood chips all over the splitter this throwing good chips that was the new chain that I buggered up right away last time I ran this saw so I got it I sharpened it uh, did the rakers and I think I think I ran it into something some of the couple of tips are not the best it's still cutting in these conditions when there's snow and ice on on these rounds it's almost impossible to avoid every bit of frozen wood you know, frozen mud I should say so I just gotta stack these up over on this side so then I could get the splitter in here. These are going to be a problem. I'm going to have to bring the rounds around to the side. Or just chuck this row of big ones to just, you know, topple them over like this. To make room. Or I could just go, you know, down the line and move them over. Until I can get this in line to get the splitter past that snow hump once this middle row here is cleared out i can uh get the splitter all the way down there. what's a swift truck doing on this road it's a county highway they must live down this way or something or they're lost i used to drive down these roads uh, every now and then uh but i stayed on the next county road over so i could uh get through this is not the route you take because uh, you take the county road like a less than a mile to the north take that all the way to to state highway and it's just better off going that way it's a better route that way you have all kinds of turns and garbage to deal with it that you don't want to in the winter so I'm gonna take some time to figure out what I'm gonna do with these rounds where I'm gonna pile them up then in the next one, I'll be splitting. So until next time, folks, take care, get out there, do something, have fun doing it.